Hi, I'm Andrew, and I'm going to be showing you an activity that you can do at home. So today, we're going to be learning about shapes. What is a shape? Is that a word that you've heard before? We're going to look at a bunch of examples of shapes, and you're going to get to look for some shapes that are in your home around you. And we're also going to look for shapes in another important term, in the built environment. The built environment just means everything that's around us that is made and used by people. Can you think of an example of something that's in the built environment, something that's made by people? The built environment could include the buildings that we live in, or bridges, or roads, or other structures. And all of these things around us are made out of different shapes. Now a shape is flat. It's flat on a piece of paper. And it's so we could say that it's 2D, it's two-dimensional. So this shape that is made of one long curved line that's flat on the paper, this one is a circle. What about a flat 2D shape that's made of three straight lines? This one would be a triangle. When you have a shape that's made of one, two, three, four straight lines. This one would be a square because all of these lines are the same length. So when you have all four sides are the same, that's a square. But what about if you have four sides, but two of them are short and two of them are long? Then you have a rectangle. There's another important difference between shapes that have these really regular straight lines, like the ones we were talking about before, like a nice triangle or a square or a rectangle. And then there's other types of shapes that maybe they don't follow straight, even lines. They can be curved or they can look different on one side from another. So these shapes that look like this would be called organic shapes. Organic shapes are made of more curved lines and they don't always look the same on one side and another. Organic means having to do with life. So these type of shapes are usually found in living things, but they're also found in the built environment. And then when you have a shape that is flat and it does look the same on both sides or is very even, those would be examples of a geometric shape. So like these examples here, like the triangle and the square and the other ones that we've talked about, these would be geometric shapes, not organic shapes. So for our first activity, you are going to look for some shapes and forms in your home. You're going to look around you and do a scavenger hunt to try to find some examples of these things. What shapes do you see right in front of you? What about the shape of the screen that you're using to watch this video? Or the shape of your favorite toy? When I say start, I'll give you 15 seconds to find as many shapes as you can. Okay, start. Now look around you for shapes and I will let you know when the 15 seconds is done. You have about five more seconds. Okay, let's go back to the video. I'll show you three examples of different ones that I found. If you look around here, around the edges of this pillow, you have four sides and they're all equal. They're all the same length. So this is an example of a square. Then another one that I found was this. What was the shape called that looks like this? That's one curved line that goes all the way around. This one is a circle. And I also found this book. What would be the shape of this? Now this has one, two, three, four sides, just like the square, but it's got two short sides and two long sides, so this one is a rectangle. What kind of shapes or forms were you able to find? For our next activity, let's look closer at the built environment. You can look at your own community or neighborhood, at your own place around where you live to see some examples of different shapes in the structures that are made by people. This is what I see when I look out one of the windows in my house. So I see part of a building, so of course I'm looking at the built environment. What kind of shapes do you notice in this picture? 
Are they geometric shapes, meaning that they're made of straight, even lines? Or are they organic shapes, meaning that they're curved? Here are some of the shapes that I noticed when I was looking out my window. I saw some rectangles. I saw some curved shapes. I also saw a circle. And now for our next activity, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to look outside a window and see what kind of shapes you can find. Now you will have a few seconds to look for shapes when you look out a window in your home. Uh, if you don't have a window to look out of, you could also look through a door into another room or just look around in a place that you haven't looked for shapes before in your home. What kind of shapes do you see? Uh, if you're looking at the built environment, you will probably be seeing geometric shapes. But if you see any part of the living environment, if you see a living thing outside, like a tree or even a person or an animal, that would be a good example of some organic shapes. Okay, now let's go back to the video for our last activity. Were you able to find any shapes when you looked at the built environment outside? Did you see geometric shapes made of straight, even lines and angles? Or did you see some curved, irregular looking organic shapes? For our final activity, you are going to make a picture of a built environment, of a community or a neighborhood uh, using shapes. Now for this activity, all you really need is two different pieces of paper. You need one piece of paper to be the background, and then you need another piece of paper um, to make the shapes, which you'll be putting on top of the first piece of paper. I am using paper in different colors so that you can see it more clearly, but it doesn't have to be different colors. You could use the same color if that's what you have. Um, and these shapes that I have here, I have already cut them out using scissors which you do not have to do. Now this would be uh, if you want to use geometric shapes that are very even and made of straight lines, then you can have an adult help you use scissors to cut them. Or I can also, sh I'm going to show you how you can make those type of shapes just using the paper without any scissors. So all you really need is two pieces of paper. Use paper shapes to make a 2D flat picture of a building. It can be whatever type of building you want. So here are some geometric shapes which I have already cut out. And now I'm going to show you how you can make some more shapes without using scissors. So one way that you can make shapes without using scissors is by folding them carefully along a line on the paper. And then you can use a heavy object like this book to help you tear the paper along the line. So I'm going to make a, let's say I want to make a four-sided shape that has two long sides and two short sides, a rectangle. So once again, I'm just folding it in the same place on both sides. And then I'm going to use this book to press down on it. And I'm just going to tear it along the edge. So that's how I can create some shapes without using any scissors. Now we're going to create a picture of a building. So for this part, let's start by looking at what different shapes we have available. Do you see any shapes that might remind you of something? And like I said, you don't have to have all these different colors, but this is just so that we can see it more clearly what I'm doing. And all these shapes that we have, these are all geometric shapes, but I can also show you how to make some organic shapes. And the way we can make organic shapes is very easy. We're just going to tear the paper. So I'm not thinking about the exact shape that I'm making. I'm just trying to tear it. And our organic shapes, maybe we can use our organic shapes in our picture to create and thing organic to create something that is alive and then we can use the geometric shapes to create part of the built environment just like in a real community. As you are starting to put together what your 
building or house or whatever type of building you decide to make, as you're starting to put together what it looks like, you can start thinking about how it's going to be used by people in the community. Maybe this is a place where people live, which would make it a house. Or maybe this is used by people in this neighborhood, in this community, in some other way. Maybe this can be a window, or we could have doors. And when making the windows and doors, I'm even though these are not very regular shapes, but I'm trying to think about what would be roughly the size that would make sense for these windows and doors. Like where should windows and doors be on this building? Since I've made something geometric, since I've made something from the built environment, this is a house that's got some windows and doors and a roof. So maybe I also want to create something more organic shaped. So I can go back to some of those organic shapes that I was tearing. Um, I'm gonna add, how about a tree? That can be part of our part of our community. I'm using the organic shapes to make some leaves. So the last step that we could do to this picture is we could take a glue stick and actually glue down the different shapes. Or you could just leave it like this. You could even move them around more to change them or try to create a new picture. But you could use a glue stick or tape to glue down your shapes and make your picture stay the way it is. So here is my final collage picture. Um, so I made a building which I decided was a house and I added uh, a door and some windows. And you see that I put shapes on top of each other. Uh, you could do that or you could keep them separate from each other, but you can use the different shapes that you create to make your picture. And I also decided to use both geometric and organic shapes. So I have a more geometric shapes to make my building. And then I use some organic shapes up here to make a tree next to the building. Something that you could do to add to this picture is you could make it into an entire community. You could add more buildings or more trees or even people or other features that the community would have. You can think about what other kinds of things you would find in a neighborhood or in a community. And as you look around in your own community, think about what shapes you notice and keep try to keep track of how many of them you see, like how many different triangles you see or how many circles or other types of shape. So keep thinking about shapes that you see in the built environment. And uh, we hope you've enjoyed this activity and we hope you have fun making a collage.